In this video, I'm going to explain how one can capture a spectrum of a star that one can use to determine the chemical composition of the star's atmosphere using a diffraction grating attached to a webcam and a telescope. So one can literally detect what a star's atmosphere is made of with a simple diffraction grating plus the webcam and telescope. So in this first image, we see the spectrum of a star that I produced by dispersing starlight within a diffraction grating. Basically, the light of the star at the center of the image has been spread out into its component wavelengths to form the colors that we see as visible light. In order to analyze the content of the spectrum for the purpose of determining the temperature of the star's atmosphere, as well as what the star's atmosphere is made of, one can use a computer program known as RSpec, which is spelled R-S-P-E-C, and I'll discuss that in detail after discussing the optical components of my, my system. Uh, in the next image, you can see the diffraction grating itself uh, that one uses to produce the star spectrum. Uh, and this diffraction grating is known as the Star Analyzer 100. Uh, it's, it's, it, the grating is the same size and shape as a conventional one and a quarter inch telescope filter. And I'll put a link to where one can get more information about this diffraction grating below. This diffraction grating is an optical element that has parallel ridges uh, etched onto the glass surface and mounted on a one and a quarter inch threaded telescope filter frame. The individual ridges of the diffraction grating disperse white light into its component wavelengths to form the colors that we see as visible light. So in the next image, uh, one can see the view that one has through the diffraction grating by itself. In this case, one is looking at the three legs of a piece of furniture. Notice the top left um, leg of the furniture where the white light has been dispersed to form uh, a spectrum ranging from blue to red. And one can see that right here. Here's the top of the left leg and here the spectrum has been formed between blue and red for the light reflected from that leg. Uh, the diffraction grating does the same thing when it disperses light from an object in the sky, such as a star or a nebula. So in this image, uh, on the right-hand side, one can see the star analyzer diffraction grating screwed onto the nose piece of a color webcam. And on the left-hand side of the image, one can see a star diagonal for the telescope that's necessary to provide the required spacing to enable my 92 millimeter refractor telescope to reach focus. And in the following image, one sees the webcam and diffraction grating attached to the star diagonal ready to place into the refractor focuser.